All right, this is part two of the last tutorial that we did, which is the instance nodes and how to use them. So basically, control C, control shift V, and you have your instance node. And I'm going to show you how to use it for parallax movement. What is parallax movement? Parallax movement is a different kind of movement where you can see that the background and the foreground move on a different uh, scale. So if we take a look at right here on our slide, you can see that the elements in the foreground are moving much faster than the actual foreground here. And it's also moving independently from the background as well. So you can see the tree kind of stays in place and while Itsuki slides over even more even though they are part of the same scene so this is called parallax basically the movement you see in real life and you can get the same parallax by making a 3d scene so let me just make a 3d scene real quick so we have our 3d scene like this we have the footage on the background and we have the text on the foreground and if we just take our camera and move it you can see that the text is moving much faster than the media giving us that parallax movement and you can also do this with the zoom so let's say we move the camera closer you can see that the text is getting much smaller compared to the background because that's how it's supposed to work and if we do it the other way it gets bigger just like that if we actually look at the scene in 3d the text is closer than the media that is there so you could take this in 2d by using transform nodes like this and this is what i want to go over so we take our instance of our transform that we have here and we move it here and so now we have it moving just like this but it's still moving on the same plane and what we need to do after this instance transform is add another transform and we could either move this down or move this up and that will change the scale of what it, where it moves like that and then you could also add another transform at the end so control shift be like this and now both the foreground and the background are moving in parallax movement according to the whole scene was right here and that this will be like your camera but everything is connected through instance nodes and that's why you need to know how to use instance nodes the reason i'm making a big deal about this parallax movement is because it allows you to make a nice looking depth in your edit. So you can see that I use it here where we have these two bars that are close in the foreground and they are moving much faster than the other ones in the background. So we also have another layer of depth over here, which I, I did where these bars are also slightly moving, not as much as these ones, but are moving just like these ones right here. And that's just, just allows to create depth in your edits and the parallax movement is the key way to do that. So yeah.